In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the quickest ways to shift our vibration, which shifts our frequency and ultimately shifts our entire life. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome. My name is Crystal Ann Compton and I am an intuitive as well as a spiritual teacher. And I just want to say hey out there to anybody who might be new to my channel or new to my videos. I, I really love connecting with you out there and please, if you'd be so inclined, click the subscribe button or the little bell by the subscribe button so you can hear when I release new videos. Because in 2017, I think we really need to be talking about up-leveling our lives and changing the way that we live and this is one of the videos that's going to address that and before we start talking about high vibration nutrition and high vibration hydration is one of the key ways to shift our frequency I just want to make sure that we're all very clear about something and what that is is that you and me at our most basic at our core structure are nothing more than energy. In fact, our physical bodies, our human bodies, are just energy patterns that are moving around at a specific rate. And that rate does something. It actually emits what's called a frequency. And what we need to realize is that frequencies are magnetic. So your personal frequency or the vibration that your body and life emits into the universes is magnetic. And this means that everything that we attract into our life, all of the joys, all of the pains, the relationships, the conditions, the experiences, we attract those based on the quality of our frequency. If our frequency is low, if our frequency is oppositional or antithetical to source energy, which is the highest frequency, then we manifest in our lives conditions that are low vibration. That's just another way to say unhappy or negative or sad or angry. We just attract more of the same of what we are. And so if you're living in an unhappy life, maybe you're sad, maybe you're unhappy, maybe you feel lost or misunderstood. You need to know that the only person who can change that is you and the way that you change that is by changing who you are at the most core and fundamental level changing your energy now I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos over the year talking about different ways that we can do that because the reality is that we can change our frequency through meditation through prayer through getting out into nature through movement of the body through study there's so many different ways to shift our energy but one of the most powerful ways and indeed one of the most quick ways to shift our vibration is by being conscious and intentional about what we put into our mouth in specific about what we eat and also what we drink so let's talk about high vibration foods what is that what does that mean well, just as you and I are at our core energy, so is everything else. Here's a pen. <laughs> energy at its core. Here are my glasses. Okay, just drop that. Energy at its core. Everything is energy. So a steak, whether the cow is alive or dead, is still energy. It's still taking a form in this dimension. A seed has energy. Cheese has energy. Vegetables have energy. And so the theory here is that we become really conscious about the vibration of these foods, how they are vibrating. And we try to select foods that are of a higher signature or frequency. And it just so happens that the most high vibration foods are those foods that are teeming with earth energy or Gaia energy. When I say teeming, what I mean is they're saturated with earth energy or saturated with Gaia energy because the reality is that earth energy is very ascended and very powerful in frequency. In fact, it is very similar in signature to source energy or that energy we would call God energy and God energy, just so you know, is the strongest the most divine, the most powerful energy that any one of us could ever come into contact with. And earth energy, again, is very similar, meaning it's really powerful. So if there are foods out there 
that are saturated with this energy, it behooves us to take them into our systems because the higher energy always causes the lower energy to level up. Let me explain myself here. When two energies come into contact with each other, the stronger energy or the more dominant energy always makes the more substantial change to the lesser energy. And so in this scenario, source energy, which again is the strongest energy that we can come into contact with, comes into contact with our physical body or our energetic signature. And because source energy is so strong and our human light bodies are of a lower signature, this interaction forces us to level up, to acclimate to the position of source energy. And when we are taking in earth energy, which is similar to source energy, and integrating that, into our system. It forces the body, mind, and spirit to acclimate, to rise to the level of that earth energy and very quickly shift us from this lower signature that we're carrying around into a higher frequency. And that's again where the magic is. That's where we start to truly change our lives. So the most high vibration foods are plant foods. And these are plant foods which are consumed in their raw form and they are sourced locally and they're also eaten organically. And so this means your lettuces, your green leafy vegetables, your cruciferous vegetables, your herbs, which are so powerful for the systems, your fruits, your nuts, your seeds, all of these are the most powerful in vibration foods that we can eat in our lifetime and on the earth. When I say that we ought to be sourcing these foods locally, what I mean specifically is that it would be great if we could go out into our backyard and pull the tomatoes that we want to eat for dinner or pull the lettuce that we want to eat for dinner. There's far more vibration. That plant is still alive with earth energy. But if we're having our produce shipped from 5,000 miles away, then all that time, all that space diminishes the vibration of the food. I also said that we should be eating our food organically or cleanly because when you layer on pesticides and chemicals and toxins and when you infuse these foods with GMO modifications, that undoes much of the natural earth vibration within the food. So we want that food as clean and as alive and as filled with energy as possible. Now, I understand, I just wanna speak right now because I know there are some of you out there who are a lot like me or like I used to be. And I grew up in a poverty situation, as some of you know, which means, you know, we had food stamps. We had welfare. I ate welfare cheese and we had cheap fast food because that's pretty, what, pretty much what my parents could afford. And as a result of eating that way for 10, 20 years, I developed an inclination toward that. I preferred this type of low vibration food. And when I started getting hip and conscious about how I needed to work with my frequency, and when I became interested in working with food, I knew that I'd have a natural aversion to some of these foods because isn't it true? Some of us just don't like salads. Some of us just don't like vegetables or fruits, and I didn't either. And so what I did in the beginning is something I'm going to ask you to do as well. I committed myself, no matter what, as a discipline to eating one high vibration meal every single day, no matter what, even if I didn't like it, because I knew how energy worked. And we'll talk about this in a moment. And for me, when I started out, what that looked like was a smoothie <laughs> because I knew that I could put bananas and strawberries and pineapple in a smoothie, maybe a little bit of spinach or maybe a little bit of herbs, but I didn't have to taste it necessarily, but I was still getting the high vibration fruit and food. And what ended up happening was that the more I did this in a consistent way, the more I remained disciplined and created a spiritual practice out of this, the more I found myself inclined toward high vibration foods. Because again, that's how energy works. The high vibration signature of this food begins to carve out space in the rest of our diet. We find ourselves no longer interested in the Doritos. We find ourselves no longer wanting a cheeseburger. We just want more of that dominant and strong high vibration energy. 
And so it started out for me as a smoothie, ended up being two meals a day. So I had a smoothie and then a salad at lunch. And when I began, it was an iceberg salad with croutons and ranch because I didn't know how to eat a salad, but I stayed with it. I gave myself some grace and over time I started experimenting. I was loving it. The vibe of it was so wonderful. And so I started adding in new vegetables. I started expanding my reach with foods and I was surprised to find how much I liked. And it was because I started with that one smoothie every single day. And soon over time, I preferred my entire diet to be high vibration. Now that doesn't mean <laughs> that that's how I eat all the time. It's not, but I do prefer that type of food because the dominant energy of the earth energy in that food began to shift out all the other stuff that I had been consuming. And at the same time, simultaneously, my life became infused with a new energy, with a new vibrancy. That high vibration that my body and my aura and my grid and my spirit was integrating into itself began to shift my reality. I dreamt more. I met new people. Doors opened to me. Opportunities came to me. I went deeper in my spiritual work. I've always been able to interact with the world of spirit, but once I got on this high vibration nutrition track, everything just got brighter, more dynamic, louder, easier to interpret. It absolutely changed the way I received messages from spirit. Now, another thing that I also did at the same time as I began working with the foods was I began working with high vibration hydration. Think about it. What are the human bodies comprised most of? Water. And what is water? Water is a conductive. And what a conductive is, is it's something that moves energy around. It's something that distributes and expresses energy. It's a conduit for energy. And so the body is already energy. The body is already water. And I saw that it was important to saturate my physical body with enough water so that it could run the energy that I was coming into contact with. As my spiritual life, began to take off and things got deeper or bigger or brighter, I made sure that I was drinking enough water so that my physical vessel could hold that energy. And my physical vessel could express that energy in my ministry or in my work. And so what I've come to determine should be, our rule of thumb is, that we should all be drinking at least half of our body weight in pure water ounces plus 20 ounces. Now, what do I mean when I say pure water ounces? I mean that we can't be drinking crap water, toilet water, sewage water, algae water, fluor fluoride water, heavy metals, toxins, chemicals, all up in our water will have an adverse effect on the physical body, of course. And so if we can afford something like a Berkey filter, if we can afford a whole house filter, or if we can find a way to make sure that the water that we're drinking is pure and good for us, well, then the body really has the foundation that it needs to do what it came here to do. So half your body weight in, in pure water ounces plus 20 ounces. So if you're 120 pounds, that means you need to be drinking 80 ounces of water every single day. And I get that that's a lot of water. Like that's a lot. <laughs> when I first started doing this, I was in the bathroom quite a lot. But just as with everything else, the body ends up acclimating. And after a few days or a week, I was fine. I could tolerate all that water. But now I want to bump it up a notch just a little bit. If you are a spiritual person, and particularly if you're a spiritual practitioner, like a Reiki master or a coach or a psychic or whatever. If you're in the spiritual work of a light worker, then you in particular need to be having at least that much water, but it's more like a gallon of water every day because you're in the divine energy. You're working with high vibration, with source energy, with divine energy, and that is so much stronger and so much more powerful than your body's energy. And so it needs the additional help. It needs that additional saturation so it can continue to lean into the spiritual things that you're interested in and also do the work and express out the energy that you work with as 
a light worker. So let me just recap here really quickly. We are all energy at our core. We're energy that's moving around. And as this moves around, we emit a frequency. And that frequency dictates how we live our lives and what we experience in our lives. And so do you want to up level? Do you want to be happier? Do you want to meet your soulmate? Do you want to find your purpose or begin your work? What do you want? Do you want it to be better and do you want it to be happier? If you do, work with your frequency. And as I said, I'm going to make more videos on other ways we can do that, but start by having one meal a day that's just high vibration and incorporate high vibration hydration as well. Now your body has what it needs. Now your body is inundated with Gaia energy, which is like source energy. And now your body's frequency is shifting and changing. And that means your life is shifting and changing. Thank you.